Imagine this, you are on earth looking up at the night sky and using nothing but basic maths, you can tell the distance of stars light years away from us. Sounds like magic, right? But it's not magic, it's trigonometry. In this video, from the ground up, my goal is to make you understand what trigonometry actually is and why the formulas are the way they are. So, let's begin. Hello Genesis. So, before starting this video, let me thank the sponsors of this video, Skill Bank Academy. Skill Bank is an app which contains all the math topics from grade 1 to grade 10 with very nice illustrative videos and very engaging quizzes. This video is possible because of the cool animations made by them. So quickly go and download this app from the link in the description of this video and have fun math learning. Now let's come back to the video. So what exactly is trigonometry? Trigonometry is all about studying the relationships between the sides and the angles of a triangle. So let's take a look at this triangle. By looking at this triangle, what do we know about it? Well, the simplest thing we know is that the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. It doesn't matter how huge the triangle is or how tiny the triangle is, this will always hold true. Now here's something very interesting. Suppose if we fix two angles of a triangle, then what will happen? The sum still needs to be 180 degree. So the third angle automatically gets locked in. No matter how you scale this triangle, whether you stretch it or shrink it, if the two angles are fixed, the third angle cannot change. The second thing we can observe is that once you fix these two angles, no matter how you scale this triangle, the ratios of the side also do not change. And this happens because to keep the angles the same, the sides need to scale proportionally to each other. This might seem like a small observation, but it's the foundation of pretty powerful ideas in trigonometry. In trigonometry, especially in grade 10, we mainly focus on a special kind of triangle known as the right angle triangle, whose one angle is fixed to 90 degrees. Why? It is because these kind of triangles mainly pop up in nature and are very useful. And also, any triangle can be decomposed into two right angled triangles. That is why we study right angle triangles the most. So now, one angle is fixed to 90 degrees. Let us fix the other angle, let us say for now 45 degrees. Now one is 90 degree, the other is 45 degrees. Now the third one needs to be 45 degrees to keep this sum 180 degrees. Now having these two angles 45 degrees makes it an isosceles triangle. Now can you tell me what would happen if I divide this side by this side? Now if your answer is 1, then congratulations. You just told me the value of tan 45 degrees. See, without even learning trigonometry, you know what the value of tan 45 is. Now you just have to figure out what this tan 45 means. Your concepts are like developing. Now let me tell you some names, some conventions. Now instead of 45 degrees, let's keep this angle as an arbitrary angle, let's say theta. Now this lower side which is attached to the theta is known as the base, like it is the base of the triangle. Now the other side which is attached to the theta is known as the hypotenuse and the third side this one is known as the perpendicular and for this case we chose to study this triangle from this angle if you want you can also choose this angle then that would be the base and this would be the perpendicular this choice of angle from which one you want to study this triangle is an arbitrary choice and it depends on the type of system you are studying now here's the cool thing, listen to it very carefully, if you understood this then you understand trigonometry. Okay, so here it comes. See, the ratios of the sides do not change and the angles do not change. These two things we know, right? Then these two things can be related to each other. And using this, we can define a function that takes in this theta value and gives us the ratio of the sides. 
and those functions are all those functions that we study in trigonometry sin theta cos theta tan theta so a lot of people get confused why what is this sin theta cos theta these are these functions that maps these theta values to the ratio of the sides so now the job left is to just name those functions so for this triangle the ratio of perpendicular to hypotenuse is equal to sin theta base upon hypotenuse is equal to cos theta and perpendicular upon base we just saw is called tan theta now these are just names all the people in this world have agreed on this i can also say paryag theta is equal to perpendicular upon base and do all the maths like that it will work out but if i tell you you don't know what paryag theta means right so that's why we use these names so that everybody can agree on the same thing so now see what does it mean to say tan 45 degree see it means a right angle triangle that means one angle fixed to 90 degrees and the other angle fixed to 45 degrees the ratio of the perpendicular of that triangle and the base of that triangle is 1 so instead of saying this long line we say tan 45 degree is equal to 1 See always keep this thing in mind while studying math. Math is nothing but a language. We can also do all the math that we do in English, but we would need to write long pages just to write simple equations. Okay? So that's why math is there. So instead of saying this long line, we say tan 45 is equal to 1. Now similarly, hypotenuse upon perpendicular is cosecant theta. This is just the reciprocal of sin theta. hypotenuse upon base is equal to secant theta tell me in the comments what's the reciprocal of secant theta base upon perpendicular is known as cot theta this is the reciprocal of tan theta an easy way to remember all this is like this you can make this small table on paper really quickly sin cos tan cosecant secant cot then perpendicular base perpendicular hypotenuse hypotenuse base now to make this table here is a cool mnemonic for you to remember this inner thing you can say penguins bake pies hungry hippos bite okay penguins bake pies and hungry hippos bite to remember this above one you can say socks can tangle cute small cats sin cos tan or sicken sicken cot it's very easy once you like repeat it four to five times you will remember it very easily now in academic especially in grade 10 you need to remember the values of these ratios for some specific angles shown in this table and for a lot of students it is pretty hard to remember these values and i think this is because a lot of students find trigonometry very hard so first thing that i want to tell you is that some of the values in this table you can like visually remember see sin 0 degree is 0 why is the ratio of the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse and, and like imagine if this angle becomes 0 perpendicular becomes 0 that's why sin theta is 0 and cos 0 is 1 why you can see if this angle becomes 0 base and hypotenuse becomes equal that's why it becomes 1 but to remember this whole table you can quickly make it with the way that i'm going to tell you in exams and anywhere it's very easy see first like make this table empty write the angles above 0 degree 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 90 degree then write all these things sin cos tan cosecant secant cot and how do we remember it socks can tangle cute small cats okay so see start from sin start from 0 0 1 2 3 4 now divide everything by 4 and take square root these are the values it's very easy now for cos do the opposite 4 3 2 1 0 divide by 4 take square root these are the value for cos theta for tan theta what you can do you can divide sin theta by cos theta because see tan theta is perpendicular upon base okay sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse cos theta is base upon hypotenuse if you divide sin theta and cos theta you get tan theta so dividing the above two rows we can get tan theta or you can do it like this 0 1 2 3 4 by 4 3 2 1 0 square root you will get the value of tan theta and for cosecant theta just take the reciprocal of sin theta 
for secant theta just take the reciprocal of cos theta and for cot theta just take the reciprocal of tan theta try to make this table like this one or two times then you can make this really really fast because it's very easy you just need to remember 0 1 2 3 4 divide by 4 and take square root now just by looking at this triangle let's derive some basic trigonometry identities that is used in grade 10 so see this is a triangle we know a very famous theorem for triangles that is the pythagoras theorem which is perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square so here we have ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square now divide this whole thing first by ac square now see ab upon ac what is that sin theta then bc upon ac is what cos theta and ac upon ac is equal to 1 so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so you can get this identity just from Pythagoras theorem and dividing by bc square gives you 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta now similarly exactly same divide this by ab square cot square theta plus 1 is equal to cosecant square theta and deriving these relations is as simple as this just remember the Pythagoras theorem once divide by the square of this side then this side and this side and then you can derive all these three very important identities of trigonometry now for grade 10 this is pretty much all the basics that you need to know now if you want to practice what you have just learned you can go to this skill bank app and open this trigonometry quiz and see if you can score full marks and with that i hope you have understood the things thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything